How do y'all? It's been some time. Reason being, is your boy, Stephen Lee Goodwin. He's been ill. He's had the damn flu for about 10 days or so. Now, what y'all about to see is a series of videos from my backlog. Now, today, it'll be a game called Endless Space 2. Now, I played about two hours of this back about three weeks ago. Now, I reckon you're gonna enjoy it. Now, bear with me, it's quite technical. But, uh, you know, you'll learn as I am. It's, uh, it's good fun. You know, I think you'll like it. It's about ten minutes long, something like that, so I'm just gonna break it down into a bunch of different videos, and, yeah, we gotta explore the universe. You know, we gotta, you know, have our own planet. It's called, uh, Duce. Yeah, this is actually the second installment. I'll, uh, link the last episode, uh, if you will, in the description. And in the comments as well, just in case you want to follow up. But truly and honestly, that was just an entire video of me not knowing what the hell to do. But now we're starting to get somewhere, so mm, I reckon you're going to find this entertaining. Now, I suppose, hopefully in the next five days, things will be back to normal. I'm going to be getting myself my own apartment. Uh, most likely in a little town you might have heard of in Scotland called Glasgow. Now... Well, I'll keep you updated, but for now, enjoy this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Hey, uh, a lesson in economics, thank you, sir. Uh, you do not control any trading companies. Ooh, I need to get myself some trading companies now, do I? Uh... Your emperor now has access to Gigalatus. Gigalatus. Okay, you can now use it to upgrade your systems in the economy screen. Okay, so how do I? I can't do that yet because I don't own any trading companies. So I do. I need to. You do not have the ability to level your star system via a system development project. Economy and trade technology stage three not unlocked. So I need to be able to. I have three hundred and seventy-five population. Manpower is used to populate your ships and ground troops. Star systems dedicate a fraction of their growth to contribute to the empire-wide manpower, which is then dispatched as ship crew or system defense troops. Okay, so, uh, what? Oh, you can scroll out! That's how you do it! Okay, wow, we can look at our freaking solar system. How cool is that? Oh, that's so awesome. Uh, right, okay. So... In order to ease your transition into the seat of imperial power, some of the usual starting conditions, including unique faction traits, have been temporarily disabled. Once you have gained a better understanding of the game fundamentals, these features will be re-enabled. Okay. The Endless Galaxy is rich with opportunities, but also dangers. That's a very wise <laughs> statement right there, I'd say. In order to survive this universe, you will need to build a mighty civilization that can conquer powerful foes. Your tale begins here, in the middle of the galaxy, in your home star system. Do say. There you go. So use the scroll wheel to zoom in or click on your star system to open the star system management screen. Okay, we were just in here. Uh, well, I suppose we're actually getting some form of tutorial this time. That's good. <laughs> we didn't get that first time, but it's not good. Uh, long ago, Dusay was colonized by the United Empire's star-faring forebearers when they settled on Raya. Today, it is the beating heart of the Empire's ambitions, but it can be made even stronger. To strengthen, you must master the production and exploitation of several resources. Only colonized planets' resources can be used. Okay. Five key resources are critical. Food, industry, dust, science, and influence. Oh, The production per turn on any colonized planet scales with the size of the population living on the planet. No, wait, I need to read that again. The, their production per turn on any colonized planet scales with the size of the population living on the planet. So I, the more of the population I have, the greater the production per turn I can uh, produce. Okay, for example, on Raya, with its population of three, base production is multiplied by three. Okay, so whatever I do is multiplied by my population. We're getting somewhere, it seems to be. The total FIDC production of the system schedule for the next turn is displayed in the side panel. 
Okay, over here. Ah. Note that even though there is only a single colonized planet in the Duce system, the total FEDSE production is greater than Raya's production. Okay. This is because of system improvements. Let's just continue on. System improvements will play a vital role in your empire's development, as they will help to enhance the strengths and minimize the weaknesses of a system. The list of system improvements constructed is accessible through the system side panel. So right here. Wow, okay. Constructed system improvements. Total upkeep of Duce is 20 of these thingies. Is that, uh, oh, what? Oh, colony base. That's cool. For your empire to grow and flourish, your planets must be well organized. This imposing administrative center ensures that finances, defense, and commercial affairs run smoothly. There you are. It is from this imposing edifice that empires are ruled. Every one of an empire's star systems, from the most powerful to the most pathetic, Woo! answers to its leaders here in the seat of their power. It is the absolute heart of a civilization. To lose it would be catastrophic. That's my galactic HQ. So, I take it, this, these are what we already have. Okay, I, I'm not gonna scrap them. Let's not, let's not uh, get too ahead of ourselves here. All right, okay, uh, uh, system management scan. Whoa, okay, this is cool. Oh, that, that, this is such a beautiful game, is it not? Right, okay. Let's look at Duce 2, I kinda like it. It looks interesting. It's got a lot of, the core type is metallic. Uh, oh, nice, it's got all, all these different elements right here. It'd be fantastic if it actually told you what they were. I think Fee is iron, but I forget what these other ones are. Well, I don't forget, I just don't know. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, multiple moons. Okay, let's scroll out again, and let's see, let's go on to the next one. In systems, industry production can never be stored, so you should always have something under construction. Otherwise, the industry resource for that turn will disappear one turn later. The list of the available constructions shows what can be built in your system. So these are the things I can build. A cerebral reality. This extension of VR entertainment technology permits many individuals to think rather than play together. The boost to science and productivity is worth the surprising effect of an occasional bizarre dream excerpt from a razor, uh, user who has dozed off. Okay. So, there is the side effects of a bizarre dream excerpt. Drone networks. Operating independent of terrain, weather, and transportation infrastructure, squadrons of drones can deliver materials across a planet in a fraction of the time required by traditional methods. Whether they are sowing seeds or supplying raw materials. Okay, so we, we have all these different things here. That, oh, what's that? The infinite supermarkets! Oh, that's what you want! With vastly improved methods for selecting, growing, and harvesting foods, it is possible to deliver any known dish or ingredient anywhere within a colonized world. Local markets have essentially become infinitely large. Oh my days, that would be insane. Can you imagine having an infinite supermarket? You could just jump out your house, go down to the infinite supermarket and get anything in the entire universe because it is a right pain in the arse whenever you go to one supermarket and it has this certain type of, uh, let's say, uh, it has grapefruit juice, right? This is a good example, actually, because it actually affects me. Uh, the one down, like, 20 minutes this way is a place called Inveraria, and you can get pink grapefruit juice in there. But you go all the way up to, like, Gilped, which is another 20 minutes, and, like, right in the middle, you can't get pink grapefruit juice in the exact same shop of the co-op. What, what, what is up with that? So we need an infinite supermarket, I, I would say. I mean, that that is a good thing. I'm going to... I'm gonna click on that. Let's get an infinite supermarket. Oh, no, I need to stick it in there and it takes eight of my turns. Uh, eight of my what? What is that? This construction will complete in eight turns. That's quite a lot of turns. I suppose once we start to know what the hell we're doing, it will actually get a lot quicker. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go on to the next hint. Like most interface elements, remember that you can get more details by hovering over each construction. Also note that system improvements can only be built once in each system. The improvement drone network is generally a safe choice to start, considering its effects. Hmm. Yeah, because the drone network will help to speed up a lot of stuff. Okay, let's also do that. That'll be done in 12. If I take that back... Oh, right, okay, so I can take back the infinite supermarkets and it means that our drone network will be built in 5 turns instead of 12. And I, and I think having the drone network will speed up everything else, so that's a wise thing to do. 
Uh, okay, let's go to the next one. Ah, oh, you can end the turn soon. Uh, the construction at the top of the queue will use your system industry production turn after turn until it is built. This way, several turns might be required depending on the industry cost of your queued construction. Click an end turn when you're ready. Okay. Am I- I'm sticking this on to here, right? Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, I must be sticking it onto Raya. Because we don't want a drone network on to say if there's no population there, I don't think. I don't think that's a wise idea. So you have 375 manpower over here, right? That's what it's called. Empire dust. So the dust is transferred to your empire and can be used in many ways, such as buying things, paying heroes, or interacting with other empires. In other words, dust is our gold. Right on. Yeah, manpower. That's what you like as well. Let's just click in turn and see what goes on here. Transition.